For sure you have read in the data sheets that the new X5 family is using a new RGB and Lime color mix. In this video we will explain you why we decided for Lime and what the difference comparing to the traditional RGB and white color mix is. To explain our new IQ gamut color algorithm to you, we have built the following setup. Here you can see an impression X5 that illuminates these two mannequins. In the middle of the two mannequins, a color spectrometer is placed, which carries out a continuous measurement. You can see the results of these measurements on the bottom left of the monitor. In addition to the color temperature, the CCT, the corresponding color rendering in CRI and TLCI, the deviation from the black body line, the DUV, and the resulting illuminance are shown. So let's get started. First of all, let's look at the basic colors. That's red, green, and of course blue. These are very far into the saturated range and go very well with the Impression X4 series on the market. Now let's talk about Lime. The Lime spectrum, developed exclusively for GLP, fits very well into the gaps of the RGB spectrum. And in addition to better color rendering, it also enables efficient and significant more constant output compared to the spectrum of a pure white LED. But more on that later. The first optimization compared to the X4 series are the so-called fixed white points. This is a white color that the fixture will render when the dimmer is pulled up. In the Impression X5 series, it is calibrated to 6500 Kelvin by default and is therefore ideal for an interaction with Highlander Wash, S350 and other available fixtures in the market. If required, this fixed white point can also be set to other white values such as 8000 Kelvin, 5600 Kelvin, 4200 Kelvin, or even set to 3200 Kelvin. The extended color mixing of the Impression X5 series is calibrated by default to the maximum possible color space in the RGB Lime range. This enables maximum color saturation, especially for live events with spectators. For TV and film applications, this color space can be changed to other color spaces if required, like the REC 709 for high definition TV and REC 2020 for ultra high definition recordings. This eliminates unwanted burnout of saturated colors in the camera image. Depending on the light scene, the focus can quickly be set to high color rendering or high output. In our setup, the color rendering changes by just 8 points in CRI and 18 points in TLCI value, while at the same time increasing the output by over 20%. The color temperature correction channel, the CTC for short, offers the option at any time, regardless of the color mix mode or set white point, sets the color temperature between 10,000 and 2,500 Kelvin. Any color temperatures are possible that have a minimum deviation from the black body line. This can be seen from the low DUV value. On the X5, this is in the area of the third digit after the decimal point. It should be particularly in phases here that the color rendering of the exclusive RGB Lime color mixing is not only very good values in the colder, but also offers good values in the warmer white color temperatures. In our setup, the color rendering at 6500 Kelvin is over CRI 85 with TLCI almost 90 and remains above CRI 75 and TLCI above 60 even at a warmer color temperature of 2500 Kelvin. In our setup, the output remains almost identical over the entire color temperature range at 1600 lux. Should it nevertheless be necessary to adapt the Impression X5 series to other light sources, 
the magenta green shift channel offers a convenient way to shift the white point of the black body line towards the magenta or green area. So you see, our line makes a difference.